Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time watching, then welcome. Today I'm going to be showing, oh my God, my chair. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this cool toned brown shimmery halo eye using the Orgy palette and also the mini Orgy palette. <laughs> but yeah, for my last video, I just used the main Orgy palette, the fully matte one, and then I decided for today's video I wanted to use both of the palettes and try and integrate the shimmers in with the mattes and see how the shimmer formula worked as well. And I must admit, I'm, well, I'm impressed with both of the formulas actually, but in particular the shimmery shades in the mini Orgy palette because the shimmer shades are just the best. I don't know why. It must be like the fact that there's a bit of glitter in there or something that just makes it work better, but it's always a lot more creamy and like heaps of color payoff and pigment. So yeah, I'm very happy that I got both of the palettes because they just go so perfectly together. But yeah, if you would like to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so eyebrows, concealer on the eye to be our eyeshadow base. And today I've decided to bring the base down to the under eye as well because I decided like it's kind of a waste of time doing it in two separate like steps. So I'm just going to do it all in the one go this time. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with the full size palette <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go in with this shade here and using a small domed crease brush I'm applying this into the crease to be the darkest crease color. So I'm using small circular motions to really buff and pack that on and I'm just keeping this in the crease from the inner corner of the eye around to the outer corner of the eye. And I'm also applying this to the under eye as well just really getting that color packed on and nice and dark so that when we start to blend it out it's still got a lot of pigment. Okay so the lighting has kind of changed a bit and it's looking kind of weird it's been really annoying but I'm just gonna have to keep going because um, yeah there's nothing I can do about it. So yeah we've got the base down and the crease and now we're going to start to blend that out with a lighter shade so I'm going to go in with this shade here and I'm applying it using a kind of it's slightly larger crease brush and it's a bit more fluffy as well and I'm just using this to start to blend out that very dark brown shade and just applying this in circular motions all the way across what we've already applied and just getting that color really buffed in there and blending together nicely with the darkest shade. We're also gonna do the under eye area too and start to blend that out. And we don't have to worry too much about the edges of this being nice and blended because we're gonna go back in with one more shade and blend that all out in the next step. So I'm going to blend the entire look out. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here. And of course a fluffy blending brush and just applying this the same way that I applied the other two shades so using these small circular motions to really get those edges nice and soft and also to blend the colors in together really nicely just applying that along the edge of the entire you know eyeshadow and I'm going to be placing the brush half on the eyeshadow and half on the skin above the eyeshadow and that's just going to really help keep the edges nice and blended and I'm also going to do the same thing to the under eye as well. And once I'm done blending that out, I'm going to go back in with all three shades and just reapply and blend until I'm happy with the final look. So making sure there's enough pigment, but also that it's blended enough. Okay, so that is the crease looking nice and blended. I'm pretty impressed with the blending capabilities of this palette so far. It really doesn't take that much. I know a lot of the time I'll end up sitting there blending for like, a stupid amount of time but this has been pretty simple so I'm happy with that so let's move on to the next step which is to prep the eye to do like a cut crease so I'm going to be using Vaseline and a flat rounded concealer brush and I'm using this in the same way that I would 
use a base to carve out the crease but this is just going to loosen up the eyeshadow and the makeup on the eye and then I'm going to remove that with a cotton tip. And just doing this in like a regular full cut crease shape, even though we are doing a halo eye, this is the way that I prefer to do my halo eyes, so yeah. Okay, now we can actually carve out the crease. So I'm gonna be taking a flat rounded concealer brush and some concealer. So I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral and just applying this to the eye using tapping motions in the same way that we, you know, prepped the eye for this. So just making sure that we get the edges nice and round and crisp and we want there to be an even amount of concealer on the eye. So using the patting motions really helps with that. Okay, so now that that's carved out, we can start adding some colors onto the eyelid. So I'm gonna start with the darkest brown shade and the same brush we used for that and just applying that to the inner and the outer corner of the eye. And we want this to be nice and packed on, so applying this in small circular motions and starting to blend this in towards the center of the eyelid. Then we're gonna go in with the second brown shade that we use, so the medium shade and the same brush that we used for that and just using that to blend that towards the center of the eyelid even more. Then when we get to the very center of the eyelid, we want to leave a gap and I'm going to apply a different eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using this mini eyeshadow brush and I'm going in with the mini palette. I'm going to go in with this shade here and just packing that on to the center of the eyelid and blending that across into the outer and the inner corners. And we want to make sure when applying this too that we cover the entire wet concealer area. So we want all of the concealer that we've got on the eyelid to be set with an eyeshadow. Okay, so that is the eye look almost complete. I'm just gonna go do my face makeup now and then I'll be back to finish off the rest of the look. Okay, so that is done and now we also have some better lighting which I'm excited about but it's also just typical that it's happened now. The sun did just go down so it's kind of my fault for like trying to film during sunset. Um, but yeah, so that is done. Now I'm going to add in some highlight. So I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna use a highlight shade from the mini palette. I kind of want to use it on my face as well, but I did that with the ranch shade from the conspiracy palette and someone commented they didn't like it and that like it was not a good shade to use on the face, which I totally agree with like now looking back. But I'm just nervous that I'm gonna mess it up. So I'm just going to do, geez, I'm just having like some mental um, battle with myself over this. I'm gonna just use the highlight shade on the eyes. So to apply that, I'm going to use a little pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade here and I'm applying this to my tear duct using small circular motions and just really packing that on and getting that nice and blinding and I'm applying this to my brow bone as well and I'm also going to pop a little bit on in the bridge of my nose because I really like the way that looks. So after trying that around the eye area I think it's actually going to be okay to use on the face so I'm going to go ahead and do that now but I'm going to use my finger just to you know I think it's going to give a better application. So I'm applying this to my cheekbones and getting that really packed on and just blinding. And the tip of my nose and also my cupid's bow. Okay, now to add some lipstick and I wanna do something pretty neutral but I'm trying not to use nude lipsticks as you guys might know. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick in the shade Dreamer. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to change up the lipstick a little bit and instead of just like changing the whole colour, I'm going to go in with my other Maybelline lipstick. This is in the shade Inspira and I'm taking a small eyeliner brush and I'm going to apply this around the edges like a lip liner and I'm going to blend that across into, you know, towards the centre of the lip to make it like more of an ombre kind of look and make it a little bit darker because I just feel like 
The eyes are so dark that it kind of like washes my face out if I have such a light lipstick. So I just think it should be a bit bolder. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if I like it. I don't know if I did it properly. I feel like this would look a lot better if it was just like a more plain look. So I'm excited to try that in the future. And yeah, it'd be good to like purposely do an ombre lip instead of like messing up and then trying to fix it up and make it into an ombre because yeah. I feel like that would just be like a better oh, really? result. Moving on because we've only got one thing left to do and that is to apply mascara and eyelashes. Okay, so it probably won't come as a surprise. I'm using my EXO Beauty Foaming Lashes and the style cupid because these are my favorite and i don't need any other lashes like ever this will do <laughs> but i'm gonna go apply these off camera and then i'll be back to show you guys the completed look Okay, so here we have the completed look with lashes. I definitely think this look is one where the lashes just completely make it because once I added the lashes, it just fully like came together and I love the way it turned out. I'm still not 100% sold on this lip and you know eye combo. I actually wanted to use a coral lipstick, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I just couldn't be bothered looking properly. So I just went with um, the easy option. But yeah, this look is definitely like a nighttime look. I'm really happy with the way the shimmer shade from the mini palette worked. The Jeffree Star shimmery formula is like amazing. I really love it. I've actually don't think I've ever tried a better eyeshadow formula before. So yeah, I was very happy with the shimmer shade on the center of the eye. The white shimmery shade called Glass Wet I was a little bit disappointed with the way that came out because I was expecting it to be like Diamond Ashes in the Cremated palette or like Ranch in the Conspiracy palette. Both had really nice formulas and they were really creamy but this one is a bit more dry and yeah just didn't apply as easily and I expected it to come out like I said like a shimmery white and it is more of like a champagne -y gold which I mean it's nice but it's not going to be replacing diamond ashes or afterlife from the cremated palette for me in terms of highlighter like those will still be my go-to's but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video if you did then yeah, sure. give it a thumbs up if you didn't then give it a thumbs down but if you did enjoy the video then feel free to hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell button so you can get notified every time I post a new video. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on the next one.